Hello everybody, it's me, Stephanie here, Independent Sensei Consultant. How are we doing today? So this is another video for Wood Scented and Spice. Because Spice only has two fragrances and Wood Scented has seven. So we're going to dive into this video for Wood Scented and Spice. And sorry if I'm going to make you motion, motion sickness because we're moving. Um... So, we're going to be going ahead and smelling these. So, if you're new here, hi and welcome. I am Stephanie, your independent sensei consultant. And I'm here to give you reviews of these wax that are in fragrant testers. Um, so, <clears throat> if you see small fragrant testers, um, this helps me to give you the fragrance in the catalog to see what you like. Like, I'll say right now, in the last video, I am a bakery, floral, fresh, even fruit person, especially in the summertime. In the wintertime, I'm more of a clean bakery still, and a little bit of fruity. Depends on what they got in their fruit section in the wintertime. And also, I know in the fall, a lot of spice in the summertime not that much only two but in the fall there's more spice i will be honest with you on that part um so let's go ahead and dive into this video if you're new here hi and welcome um if you would like to give me a like subscribe if you would like to know more about sensi um knowing what's in the catalog knowing um what products may be coming out like say for instance march 18th there is going to be a harry potter collection coming out um i know this is not part of the video but i just figured to point that out um i will be doing a video about it here soon so just give me a hot minute and we should have it all set up for you and we'll talk about it but today we're just going to talk about wood and spice um, I'm going to be smelling fragrant testers, give you guys my honest opinion. I'm also going to do a most like and very least of my favorites because I feel like that will help you guys out too. And maybe you can see something different. Like say for instance, I always want to tell you guys just because I may not like the fragrance, I know it can be very um, discouraging. But I want to encourage you of trying new fragrance that you may like. Like, if I don't like dashing, and you do, our noses are different. I just want to make a disclaimer about it. Our noses are different, and um, I feel like with these glasses on, you guys will see just my screen. So that's why I don't hardly much wear it in the last video. But what I'm trying to say is, is that... Um, just because I don't like something doesn't mean um, you may not like it. You might not like it. Like, say for instance, I will say a fragrance that's in it. And you're like, yeah, I don't like that. Because it has this fragrance in it. Understandable. But I want to encourage you of trying new products out. I want to encourage you of trying new fragrances and see if you like it. Um, so that's why I want to make a couple seconds to uh say that plus you're gonna hear a lot about scentsy club and whiffer box i will be ordering a whiffer box here soon for the month of march and we'll do a separate video for that um so your girl's trying to get her gears moving so we can talk more about this so let's go ahead and dive in so if you have a catalog some of you do, some of you don't, but if you need one, I'll mail you out one, or I can, yeah, email it out to you. Um, I'm going to try to find a way I can give you guys a digital one, so you guys can, like, flip through the pages and walk through with me. So, if you guys want to, turn your pages to, if you have a book, which some of you may or may not have, um, if you have other consultants, like like say for instance if you already have a consultant that's fine but also um on this channel 
if you're new welcome and if you're here you can stay um all right um turn your pages to 14 and 15. it'll look something like this here's the wood scented and the spice there's two in spice seven and wood scented so um what i got here for us today is wood and spice scented so since they accidentally gave me duplicates like double of something that I already have, which is not Sensi's fault. It happens. Um, I got two of Dashing and two of Mystery Man. So we're going to go from top to bottom of the fragrance. So the first one is Bonfire Beach. Bonfire Beach. This is minty green. And this is what Bonfire Beach looks like. With the labeling on the bottom and the green and i always like to do this with you guys i'm going to use my neck as the backdrop so you guys can see the words um bonfire beach bonfire beach is a toasted marshmallow white flint sandalwood salted or salty sea air and ocean spray that's what it says. Hmm. I love this. Since I warmed it up a bit with my finger, I love this. Everything in the title is there. Everything. My husband loves this fragrance. I warmed it up one day and he says, honey, what is that smell? It smells so good. I said, it's Bonfire Beach. He's like, oh my Lanta, you're gonna have to order more. Put it in your Sensi Club because you're gonna have to order more. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, we'll order more. I promise, we'll order more. So, Bonfire Beach, love it. Has everything in the title, bestseller, beautiful. My husband loves this smell. I wish I can get him in videos to do some with me kind of get his opinion but he's camera shy he wants to keep his privacy i understand i have respect for him if he doesn't want to do it i'm not going to force him to do it but i would love to have somebody to like be right beside me and kind of give me their honest opinion and thoughts about these fragrance because um i'm not saying with me being the only one smelling it i would just kind of want to show you that my husband might like the same thing as I do, and then my husband could not like the same thing as I do. So, like, say, for instance, I love blueberry cheesecake. He doesn't. Me and him loves Bonfire Beach. That's where I'm trying to get my point across. So, with this one, love it. Everything in the title is there. Said and done. <laughs> So, um, next one is Coastal Sunset. Coastal Sunset is a creamy coconut, sandalwood, and am amperness or amphorous amber. It's like that purple, uh, gem. I can't remember. It's like the month of February, like, color. So, it's this nice dark purple. I want to say it's like a violet. It's not like a dark, dark purple, but it's there. Mm, I love the amber that's in it, the sandalwood, the creamy coconut. It's there. Just like Bonfire Beach, but it's not the same thing. Bonfire Beach has five different fragrances in it. This one has three. It, for this one, it's creamy coconut, sandalwood, and menthus. Amber? Not Memphis. My god. Not from Tennessee. It's that Amphis Amber. I love this. This is beautiful. Very creamy coconut in the sandalwoods there. Love it. Next one is Dashing. Dashing is this nice 
deep royal blue. It might look black, but it's actually blue. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a closer look. And <clears throat> here is dashing. I feel like I didn't get to show you guys uh, Coastal Sunset, which is this purple right here. Coastal Sunset is this purple one right here. And then the navy blue is dashing. Oops, dashing. All right, I know I just went in for it, but I didn't get to say the description. So this has a vanilla, creamy Mongolia, fresh midnight sky. Mm, I love this. I love the Mongolia, the vanilla, and it's there. The fresh night sky, mm, this would be great. It kind of takes me to like, you're sitting in the back, uh, sitting in the trunk of your car, or not your car, but your truck, and you're laying back, and you got that Mongolia and vanilla scent, like, it smells like a man's cologne, like, I want to get something, like, similar to that, and let my husband wear it, and be like, you smell good, and I love this, I love it, I love it, I love it, the Mongolia and the vanilla, it's, it's getting me, vanilla, I swear, Vanilla's like, I got you now. You're gonna love every fragrance that has vanilla in it. I'm like, yes, unfortunately, <laughs> yes. So they gave me two duplicates of it right here. So what I might do is that I'm gonna probably get with Scentsy and ask them if they can trade me for another fragrance that I do not have. The only fragrance I do not have is 624 which is Angel for the Stitch Collection that's in the catalog. So I might ask them if they would like to have the two duplicates back or they are going to let me keep it and then give me 624. I don't know. I, that will be an update I will have to give you. But yeah, two of the same fragrance. I got duplicates, which is fine. Because we'll find out if they're okay with it. Next is Mystery Man. Mystery Man, unfortunately, two duplicates of Mystery Man. Mystery Man is a warm white cider, green verna, and a citrus Vermont. This is really nice. This gives me like more of a man's cologne, like an Old Spice or an Axe fragrance even though old spice and axe has nothing to do with this but it's like when you smell something you m remember a certain fragrance um it's like you're having memory fragrance come back to you when you smell these uh, uh fragrance this is very um subtle perfect spice there is like a spice scent to it i'm not sure what's giving me the spice but it's there. It's not a strong spice, but it's there. It's very manly. I will say that. And I love it. So this is Mystery Man. I don't know if you can see it. Mystery Man. And it's this blue right here. Be careful with the blues. I know Mystery Man and Dashing are two different blues. But here's our blues that we have in the wood scented. Dashing Mystery Man. I just want to point that out. But here's Mystery Man. And I love this. It's not a real strong spice. Um, I love how it has the Vermont in it. Beautiful. Love it. Next one is... Sandaled wood and tangerine. So this one has a white fig, tangerine, and sandaled wood. It's this nice deep orange. It's like a burnt orange. On uh on my computer it's showing a lighter orange, but the wax is deeper, like a deep orange. 
lovers sandalwood the sistress the white cider this is beautiful this is another man's smell it kind of gives me like either like ever go to walmart and you're smelling like old spice or the axe stuff or something that is not axe or old spice and you find something that's close to sandalwood and tangerine listen if anybody finds that for me please let me know like because i love this and mystery man and love the sandalwood if you're a guy and you love sandalwood scented and tangerine this is for you this will be great in your car this you can get other stuff instead of wax um like say for instance you can get pods pods look like something like this twin pack there's no leaks or nothing it's beads <clears throat> plus um with this and a car hmm this would smell great so any guys out any guys watching this video i suggest getting oops i suggest getting either the ones that you like like say for instance me if i had if me and my husband had a car it'd be sandalwood or sandalwood tangerine mystery man and dashing and bonfire beach in our car um coastal sunset it'll be like a 50 50 if i want to put it in my car or in our car if we get one but so far there's so many fragrance that i would like to put in my car <laughs> but i had to wait because i don't have a car next is weather leather weather leather i know i just gave off like a little bad like kind of vibe for a second if you know me i do not like leather scented i don't know why but this is a powerhouse anybody that loves leather god bless your soul <laughs> Because some reason I can't like leather fragrance. I'm so sorry. But if you love leather, you can have all the leather fragrance you want. Um, so whether leather is a dark seduce or seduce. It, yeah, seduce. It's spelled su, dus, de. And then tooled leather and oak. It's this nice brown right here. Be careful with mocha doodle and weather leather and they're they're almost like the same color the leather and the oat and the dark dark fragrance is there it's this dark one right here and it's called weather leather let me turn it the other way so you guys can read it weather leather Yep, but weather leather. Be careful if you have Mocha Doodle and what uh Mocha Doodle and weather leather. Be careful because they're about almost the same, but I think they're a little bit different because it says here that or it shows a picture in the catalog that weather and leather is a lighter brown than mocha doodle and vanilla here is supposed to be a brown but they have it in a tan so i'm not sure so i just want to point that out be very careful when you go to grab either mocha doodle or weather leather because to me they look kind of same so be careful so weather leather is a no go for me last one is white amber and tusk so it's an amber tusk flirt. It says, yeah, amber tusk and bergamot. It's this nice, kind of like, I want to say like a grayish brown. Can someone tell me what color this is? Because it's kind of throwing me off. But here's the color that's on the back. And here's the color of the wax. And this is white amber and tusk. Uh, 
this is a nice like subtle manly smell i love this i had it before when it was new um years ago still love this smell it's very romantic it's like a romantic manly smell and i love it if they had it in a body spray i'll ask my husband politely if he would wear it for me <laughs> i want him to be he doesn't wear cologne but there's a part of me that wishes that he does because i get this smell these wonderful fragrance because like say for instance at dunkin donut when i'm in the window i smell people's cars because i get the hint of their fragrance and i tell them all the time it's like your car smells amazing where did you get it some of them will say oh i got it from sensi or i got it from this place or i got it from here i got it from there I love smelling people's cars. If you're driving by the window and I'm in the window and you roll down your window and your fragrance comes out and I smell it, let you know, I'm going to tell you your car smells amazing and I love it. So please don't take it weird. It's just I love smelling clean cars. I don't know what it is with me smelling fresh fragrance coming out of a car, but it's there. Um, back to amber, tut, white amber and tusk. Love this. This is a very romantic smell for um, a guy scent. And I love it. So this is all of the wood scented. I'm going to give you my least of my favorite. So let's go ahead and do the least. So far, I love... six out of two and you're probably going to be concerned about the two that i don't like but it's going to shock you or some of it will some of it won't but my most least is weather letter i'm sorry i don't know why i don't like the smell of leather like it i just don't like it and it has this weird smell to it i don't know what it is but I do not like leather, le leather. If you are a gentleman or a woman that loves leather, please don't, please don't let me discourage you of trying it. I suggest you trying it and see if you either do if you don't like it. And if you don't like it, at least you tried it and you know that you don't like it. I just don't want to discourage you. I want to encourage you of trying out fragrance. Second to my least is Coastal Sunset. I love that it had the sandalwood, the creamy vanilla, and the amber in it. I just feel I won't be grabbing this a whole lot because when I warmed this, um, it did give me the fragrance that it says in it, but I just didn't, I'm not grabbing for it a whole lot or wanting it a whole lot. But the other six are White Amber Tusk. Sandalwood Tangerine, Dashing, Mystery Man, Bonfire Beach, and that is it. I'm very sorry, I meant to say five out of two. I got that wrong because I had an extra dashing next to it. So there's that. So we done the wood scented. So I'm gonna put the wood scented off to the side. You guys know what I like and don't like. So let's go ahead and do a quick review of the spice. There's only two. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you both of them, which are Welcome Home and Vanilla or Cinnamon Vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the cinnamon. Cinnamon vanilla. Cinnamon vanilla has a vanilla bean, cinnamon, coconut, and castries. If I'm saying it right, it's C A S S I A. Warming it with my finger. It is this nice beige. I say be careful with the beige color when it comes to like grabbing beige color wax because some of them might be 
a little bit of something, but I got it. Hold on. I just smelt this. And smelling this is giving me baked apple pie, but it's a spice smell. I'm wondering, it doesn't have any apple fragrance in it, but it's kind of giving me another smell of baked apple pie, but it's not. There's no apple fragrance in it, but it has the vanilla bean, the cinnamon, the coconut, and cashew. I love this. I really do. And smelling this, sorry, the computer's going to sleep every time i not using it, but I love this. The vanilla bean, the cinnamon, the coconut, it's there. It's an even blend, nothing too strong. I mean, the cinnamon is there, I can smell it, and the vanilla, but the coconut and the other fragrance, it's just like a little subtle. I mean, you're going to get it but it's very subtle so you can get the two main fragrance that's there which is cinnamon and vanilla and it smells beautiful next one if you love cinnamon and spice welcome home is your fragrance um because this one is just cinnamon and spice welcome it says welcome home is our best seller warm welcoming vanilla or not vanilla warm and welcoming with cinnamon and spice i love this this would be great if uh if you like to come home and you like to welcome yourself or welcome guests to your house this would be a great smell but some reason every time i warm this it's giving me like I hate to prefer this, but it's giving me like fireball whiskey. I don't know why. There's no whiskey scent in it. It's just cinnamon spice. And I, I'm 24 years old and I do like certain beverage, but not cinnamon. But this is giving me fireball. I don't know why. I always tell my family this is like this is giving me this and this is just my honest opinion but there's no whiskey scent in it but just having the cinnamon spice it's just giving it to me i don't know why but it is but it's cinnamon spice that's it it's it's very subtle but I feel like once you warm this, this is going to be a powerhouse. So I suggest if you're buying Welcome Home, use two or one cube because it is a powerhouse. Just want to make a disclaimer of that. And also I want to make another claimer. There is no whiskey scent in it. It's just how I think it smells like and what it smells similar to. Just want to put that out there. All right. Give me your thoughts and opinions about which ones you like to try out. What do you guys want me to warm and give you my opinions about? I know on cold, everything smells nice. But if you guys want me to warm something for you and do a review on it, how long does it last? Like the fragrance. Uh, what does it smell like when it's warm? If you want me to do that, do like a warming session. I will. That's not a problem. But um, it will be probably have to be when I'm out of college. Because at college, I can't warm wax there. They said, no, no. Can't warm wax here. We don't want to mess. I understand. At home on weekends, I'm here for about two, two and a half days, maybe three. And I get to sit here and warm it. So on weekends, I can warm wax for you and give you my honest opinions of how long it lasts. Um, is it a powerhouse? Is it a mild fragrance? I will give you that. I'll give you my opinions. Like say for instance, for right now, I got a floral fragrance of the Kaudu, Kaudu, or Kaudu, 
coconut. It's in the floral fragrance. And I'll show you in the catalog what I'm talking about because you're like, what is this woman trying to say? I'm sorry, my speech is not great. My spelling and my pronunciation is not great. But if you turn your page to page 12 and 13, it is this fragrance right here. I'm currently warming it and I'll give you my review on it. It's a powerhouse. You can use one or two cubes. I use two. With two cubes, it is a powerhouse. Love it. By itself with one cube, it's a medium to close to a powerhouse, but I use two because that's how much I like it. It's giving the fragrant title that it says it's giving. So like the tropical coconut, the jasmine, and the coyote nut, as one will call it. And it's giving it. I love it. It's beautiful. When I open my windows and the fragrance goes out, I have my neighbors telling me they're like, something in your house smells wonderful. And I tell them, I was like, well, it's this smell that I have from Scentsy. It's a beautiful smell. It's a floral scented. And I think that you should try it out if you want to. Um, I can't peer pressure you guys to try something, but if you guys would love to try it, please do so. Go to my website down below place your order if you'd like to have any of these wonderful products if you got any questions or any concerns with certain fragrance um also I'd like to know what you guys are allergic to certain fragrance because i feel like if i give you um like if i allow you to smell something and you tell me like okay i can't smell lavender or I can't smell anything with vanilla in it because like say for instance my pap he's allergic to vanilla I can't let him smell anything that's vanilla so my grandma has to watch what she's burnt uh warming and her warmers that has anything vanilla because my pap's allergic to vanilla uh my aunt she's allergic to lavender scented so when she goes to smell certain products, I have to like watch what I give her because she's allergic to lavender. So I want to make sure you guys are safe and not have an allergic reaction to certain fragrance um, because some people are allergic to certain things. If you are allergic to something and you're local to me and you get to smell these fragrance, please let me know what you're allergic to before I let you guys smell because then I can take the fragrance out, place them somewhere else be like okay it's safe for you to go ahead and smell i took your um i took the fragrance that you're allergic to away so you can enjoy these wonderful products i want to make sure everybody's safe and not have an allergic reaction because it makes me feel bad but if you guys enjoy watching this video have yourself a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye